Hey guys, it's Alpha, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your first resource in your 5M server. If you haven't watched my previous video, that shows how to set, set up a 5M server. So I recommend watching that so you know how to make your 5M server and get it running before you make your first resource. If you have done that, then welcome to the next step in the process of making a server. Uh, you're going to want to go to your server directory. So here I've got mine in my local disk C test server yours probably won't be called this but still go to it um, and then inside your server go into your resources folder which we haven't touched upon yet but it's just where your server.cfg is there in the same directory there'll be a folder called resources this is where we're going to be based around this episode so what you want to start off by doing is go inside of this resources folder and create a new folder you obviously see some folders in here it should be the same as mine these are the default 5M server package folders. Don't delete these. These are all core, core resources, would say. Um, you just don't want to mess with those. They are good how they are. What you want to make is, if you want to match the style, do the square brackets. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to call this one scripts. You, you can call it whatever you want, but make sure it's something relevant so you know where you're looking. Once you've made that, go inside of there. And you can. this is where your resources are going to be, basically. So you make a folder for each resource. So for the first resource, uh, we're going to make a template resource, which we can just copy and paste for every resource that we make. I recommend doing this because then you don't need to create a new folder and all the files inside of it every single time. You can just copy and paste this and just use the certain files inside that folder that you need. So I recommend calling this one template resource like so. Once you've done that, go inside of it and you're going to need to make a text document. And obviously you're going to need your file extensions on so you can see the .txt. I showed in the last video how to do this, but in case you don't remember, go to view at the top of your file explorer and this checkbox just here, file name extensions, make sure you've got that ticked. As you can see without it, you can't see the .txt at the end of the file. You're going to want them on and then when you're renaming it, call it fxmanifest.lua. LUA is the file type, Lua file. This is the programming language that we're programming in. and if it doesn't automatically, you're going to want to have this open with Visual Basic, or not Visual Basic, Visual Studio Code, sorry, uh, because that is the best programming uh, IDE in my opinion. Uh, once you've got it open, you can go to my documentation in the description, not the official one, but my documentation. I do make documentation for these tutorials, or you can just copy off of the screen, but you're going to want to copy and paste this code, which is for the FX manifest. Uh, just quickly save that, and then this will be the template. So you've got the FX version, Adamant. Don't change this. Uh, there is the old version, which was, uh, you may have seen it if you've dabbled in 5M coding before. Uh, it used to be called underscore underscore resource.lua. That was the old way of defining a resource. But the new way is an FX manifest.lua. Inside of this, you're going to have the version, which is the Adamant. Don't change this. This just means it's not changing and it's, it's sticking, basically. So the old way with the resource.lua, there would be a whole bunch of like 25 digits which would change like every month but this means it's not going to change this is very useful it's a good good uh, update by the cfx community the game this can either be red m or or gta 5 obviously we're coding in 5m which is uh, an add-on to gta 5 so you want to keep this as gta 5 the description this is just it, it won't change anything in the resource this is just the description of the resource so uh, in case you're sharing the resource with a community uh, they know basically what what the resource does um, i'm just going to leave it as a template resource and you've got all of these four types just here you've got client scripts server scripts files and data files uh, you don't want to change these for the template but as you can see i've already named out the parts that you're going to need to change all the asterisks these little stars they're the parts that you change so let's say you've got a client script called client.lua then you would change it from the asterisk.lua to client.lua so once we've done that, we can just close that. And then inside of here, we're gonna to need to make four folders. One called client, one called server, one called files, and one called stream. For a basic resource, you don't need uh, the files or stream, but obviously this is a template resource. So we're gonna create all the things that you might need inside of a resource. So you can just use them if you need them. So once you've got your template resource created, what you want to do is just select it and then either right click and copy or just press control C to copy it and then control V to paste it. And then you're going to want to rename it. 
This, the one that we're making now, is going to be your actual resource that we're going to be using today. So I'm going to call this first resource because it's the first resource. So obviously it's going to be the exact same. But what you're going to need to do is because we're only going to be using a client sided script today, you're going to want to delete all three of these folders that aren't the client folder. And then inside the FX manifest.lua, you're going to want to get rid of these three, but not the client script section because we're going to need that. So don't close that, just minimize it for now. Inside the client folder, go to a new text document and then call it client.lua. Obviously changing the file name extension so it's a Lua file. Once you've done that, you can open that alongside your FX manifest. What you want to do is change this asterisk, like we said before, to client.lua instead of asterisk.lua. Obviously, you've got here at the start client slash. This is the folder name and then obviously inside of it, you've got the client.lua file. So once you've done that, you can close that. You're done with that. And then here we're in the client Lua. Now we're about to do some scripting for the actual resource. So in this resource, we're going to do a simple chat command, which is basically if you do, let's say you're in the 5M and you do slash rules for say, that will open up the rules so you can see the rules. So what we're going to do is we're going to do register command. Oh, sorry. There we go. Register command. This is registering a chat command. This is a built-in a native something <laughs> it's a native something um but register command this is registering a command basically and um inside some quote marks you're going to want to put the commands so obviously i'm going to put rules so let's say if you put uh, discord here then the command would be slash discord if you're making a command that opens up the discord for someone uh if you have a obviously if you have a community discord um, once you've done that you're going to want to put function and open close brackets and then bring the second close bracket down and put end comma false. So in here, we're going to want to go indented. And this is where you're going to put your, obviously the events that happen inside of the command. So we're going to make a new function called add client chat. Well, here we're going to be referencing the function. We're going to make it below, but what we're going to do first of all is just reference the function. So inside of these speech marks, you're going to need to put whatever you want to come up on in the chat when they do the slash rules function. So I'm just going to make some random, random rules. So do not spam the chat. Um, you can do, oh, there we go. You can do multiple of these. So just copy this and paste it on a new line. And you can just put another one. So do not be rude to others. Anything, anything that you want. These are just some examples, obviously. Um, you can do as many of these as you want, but I'm just going to do two for now. Once you've done that, you are now going to define the actual function, which is add client chat. Like so. And then as a parameter, we're going to put a message. Like so. And then let's make an end for it. There we go. And then in here, indented, we're going to trigger a event which is from if you look back here you don't really need to look at this it's just if you want to understand it uh back in this section wait uh here no yeah in the resources you've got gameplay and chat this is already a resource that gets started this is a core resource inside of this there is a uh, event that is called uh chat comma uh, chat colon add message so what we're going to want to do is trigger event and then in some brackets we're going to do chat colon add message with a capital M and then we're going to do a comma and an open squiggly bracket I don't know what these are called just you know one of those squiggly brackets <laughs> I really don't know what they're called so don't ask me um, and inside of this it should be uh, two indentations now you want to do color the American spelling and in here some more squiggly brackets and this is RGB red green blue with values from 0 to 255 so here I'm just gonna make it uh, 255 on green and 255 on blue uh, 0 is red so you got red green blue I believe in that order you can make it whatever color you want um, next one is multi-line did I spell that correctly no I didn't <laughs> multi-line uh, set this to true this is so you can have the Obviously, once you do slash rules in chat, you can have multiple lines of response in the script. And then next, we're going to want the arguments. So we're going to do args. 
and equals and in here some more squiggly brackets you can either do just the message which will just post these in chat or if you want it to have a prefix so like uh, a player is saying it uh, you can just put some brackets here and then a comma and inside of these not, not brackets uh, speech marks inside of these speech marks you can put whatever name you want so if you want it to say rules bot or server or console or anything like that just put whatever you need and then you're going to want to space after the comma so this is the script complete for now so we can save that and close it down Next, we're going to want to go to our server.cfg, which we were messing with in the last episode. Open that. And obviously here, these are the core resources that I was talking about earlier, such as the chat. These are all insured, which means they must start. Um, you don't want to change these. Do not get rid of these. What you want to do is just go down a few. And then I'm here, I'm going to put custom resources because these are the custom resources that we're creating. And here you want to put start and then your resource name exactly. So obviously my one was called first resource. So I'm going to put that with the capital because that's what I put in the folder name. So this isn't the FX manifest name. It's the folder name that the FX manifest is in. Once you've done that, you can save that and close it. And now you can go back to the starter.bat. And in the console, if you look out just below all of these main resources that got started up here, as you can see just here, Started resource, first resource. This is our, sorry, this is our resource that we've just started. So here you can obviously started resource. If it says couldn't start resource or couldn't find resource, uh, you've got an error. If it says couldn't find, that means the uh, the name in the server.cfg where you put start and the folder name, uh, they don't match up. So let's say you put start first resource one and in here it's called first resource without a one then that's why we wouldn't be able to uh, find it. But if it says couldn't start, then that means there's an error with your resource. And that's, uh, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to help you with that because obviously it depends on what error you've made. Um, if you comment down below your error, then I can help you. Or if you visit the Discord, I'll be able to respond much quicker because I'm much more active on Discord. So once you've started up your console, you can just drag it onto your other screen if you have one so you can see it. If not, just leave it there. Don't close it because that will close down the server then you can start up 5m once you've got 5m you can either put in your local host on the direct connect or you can just press local host here once you have spawned in you can see the blue chat box in the top left that's where our resource is going to be so if you type slash rules obviously here look i've only put slash r but just below it you can see that there is a preview of the uh, available commands so obviously now that we can see it that shows that it is registered as a command so if we press enter as you can see in the chat server do not spam the chat do not be rude to others so that means the resource is working and obviously we've got a bright blue for the server name uh, that's because obviously in the folder uh, in here on the colors the rgb you can change this so if i put this to zero just here that will just be blue um, so then what you want to do is obviously save this and you can actually restart the resource whilst the server is up so in the console type restart and then your resource name like so and then it will say stopping and starting restarting it obviously and then if you do slash rules obviously as you can see the color has changed so you can change resources uh, and restart them whilst your server's up so that's a, a good thing to know and obviously you can change the color and Obviously, uh, you're going to have a much better list of rules than me. These are just example ones. But next up, I'm going to show you how to do a clear chat command because that's also very useful to have. So what you can do is without even restarting the server, you can do this whilst it's up. Just uh, go back to the client.lua and just go down a few lines. And then we're going to register a new command. And we're going to call this one clear. This will clear chat. I'm going to do a comma after you've put the name of the resource and do function inside of the parameters you want source and args and for the second bracket bring that down to and do end comma false just like before if i can spell <laughs> there you go and indented in the command you want to do trigger event check 
chat colon clear and then you can save that and then obviously just restart your resource again in the console so now if we do slash clear as you can see it clears the chat so let's say we do slash rules comes up do it a bunch of times obviously so let's say someone's spamming the chat you can just do slash clear and it clears the chat so that is all for today's tutorial if you enjoyed it please hit that like button and subscribe and remember to turn on your notification bell for the next tutorial that's going to be coming out i'm not sure what it's going to be yet but if you want to recommend something be sure to join the discord and ask for a tutorial specifically this has already happened this is why i made this tutorial today so uh, be sure to join it and uh, i can give you support and you can recommend new things so uh, i'll see you guys next time <laughs> bye